putting a drop around my daughter's bike, and I have a 125 millimeter post in my spare parts bin. It's too much travel for her right now, but I'll show you how I'm going to shorten the length with one of the used zip ties that's been sitting on my workbench for years, because I haven't thrown it away, because I knew it would be useful someday. Well, today is that day, for one of them anyway. Oh, video got faster. This trick works especially well with the P&W post that I'm using because the brass keys are actually the same width as a zip tie. If you have a dropper that uses a narrower key style, you need to come up with a different piece of junk on your bench that fits in the key channel without binding. There are those big brass keys I was telling you about, and the channel. I'm going to cut a couple equal lengths of zip tie to fit between the top of the key and the bottom of that white plastic bushing. That'll restrict the post extension. If that's still too much travel for my daughter right now, I can replace those zip tie bits with longer ones to restrict the length even more. As she grows, I can open it up again to cut the zip ties shorter, which will make the travel length longer again.